just come back to West House. Uh, got a couple of hours, nice bit of sunshine, not too warm, so I thought, here we go. They're doing a lot of tree trimming. Don't, don't know if you can hear it. Chainsaws buzzing away. So I'm staying out of their way. I don't want to get a tree down on me. And we'll have a look through this. I've been through this field a few times and never ever found anything. So we'll have another look. But we're starting off with a, a penny. <laughs> a glad penny. Whoa. Oh, decoration off um, a cast iron fireplace, an old one. It, it's screwed in porcelain this, it's not ivory or anything. Just porcelain and what have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight sided star. Yes. I found something, yay! <laughs> <laughs> had to come the length of the field to get it. Now that's a very, very thin old coin. Or it's a button. I can't tell, there's nothing on the the back. We're looking 1750s for that, if it's a coin. Oh, that's another old coin. What are we doing down there? Oh, bronze. <laughs> it's broken off whatever it was, sheared it. Either a tractor stud or a piece of machinery. Oh, 20 pence, 1982. <laughs> I'm not impressed with modern money. Oh, look, tiny frog. Yes, there you go. <laughs> tiny, tiny, tiny. Another penny. It's all modern here. Just get a fair part junk around here. Um, that's a, sp a copper spout off an oil can. See, it is flattened. It should be round. Oh, badge. Come. Oh, Empire. Oh, that says Empire Week. Empire Week. Just can't make the other out. Yeah, pins are gone, of course. Oh, got a badge. Oh, ring. <laughs> Wrong kind of ring. <laughs> it's rolling your trousers up. Oh, I'm not finding anything decent here. I shall have to go in the bleaching fields, I think. Oh, beautiful sky, but uh, I'm going back under the trees, I think. Oh, a tiny little ball off a spoon. Pewter spoon. Tiny. <laughs> Compulsory iron ring. <laughs> right, that's the bleaching field going right down there. And I just thought, I'll come over here in the shade because the sun was too hot and... Hallelujah, brothers. AP12K. Now, what are you? Uh, F Zets off. Oh, 19 post, I think. A seal. My goodness. I shall have another look around here. Another uh, seal. A PD. Port inspector. Uh, just where my shovel was there, look. I think up above there, there's a field with seals in and I think they've been coming down this slope and losing them off the tractor, off the cart. 1817. Yes. Yeah. And uh, nearby was another of those stud things, look. I think the studs off tractors. And another one at the bottom of the slope. 1816. Indeedy. Oh, silver plated button had me going then. <laughs> oh, well, we'll get one soon. Right, I've just come up on the rise of that slope, heading towards that gate where I said they took them to, and here's one on the way. Uh, 
Oh, you'd be weird. I thought you were a Riga. But, uh Oh. Hmm. There should be keys on the back, but on the front. This is the front. I can't see any keys, cross keys. Oh dear. <laughs> Still, it's another seal. Hello, little rabbit. There you are, I see you. <laughs> a lot of mozzies about. Oh, at least I'm in the shade here, look. I'm on my way back now. Little drawer handle. <laughs> Mutilated. Oh. It's been nice, actually. Could do with some more seals, though. Oh, I love these skull trading tokens. <laughs> it's not a skull, it's a crown. That's the bottom of the crown. There's a little cross up there under the muck. Yes, it's a crown. A royal crown trading token. And a big one. Huh, indeedy. Oh, working my way back up here, up there to the car at the farm. Oh. A lead door handle. <laughs> Heavy lead is the last thing I want at this time of this hunt. <laughs> oh. oh, I've jagged one on this little slope back to the car. <laughs> a cow's only over there. Right, I shall have a quick look round here. 1814. Yes. And so to the roundup. <laughs> Nothing happened. <laughs> here we go. As usual, loads of lead out of West House. There was a lot more than this, but they were huge pieces and I, I just couldn't carry them, so I left them. And bits of machinery, that holds down uh, electrical cables. These, I think, either they're in the, the mill and they're used for, for tapping stuff and making felt cloth. Or they're like this one, which is definitely a tractor stud. Uh, they could well be tractor studs. Here's a stud um, for holding leather harness together. Look, I've got one of these with nine of these. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Nine in a square. Um, excellent. Where do we go? Well, well let's carry on here. <laughs> Had a few of these. These, these are off of the old um, cast iron uh, solid fuel stoves. Or, or things of that ilk. They screw in, look, into it. Porcelain, not ivory. And the rest is, uh, I think it's brass. Yes, it is, it's brass. Now, look, that drawer handle I got. Do you remember me saying, hey, look, if, if brass is bent, leave it alone, because that, all you'll do is, if you try to straighten it, you break it. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I've had a lot of coffee spouts in my time, but quite rare to get uh, oil can spouts, look. It, it's just flattened. But there you go. Now, let's work along here. Buttons, buttons, buttons. A uh, bowl of a spoon. One of them door handles, look. That's where that flat iron plate comes out. And, and turns the, the door. Bit of ring for holding your trousers up and a cartridge. Bang. And bit of lead with I'm sure that's writing on there. But just what? I don't know. I think it says NIP. Whatever that means. Then another piece of lead with these strange indents in look. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, strange. Um, okay. I ident identified this. It says Glasgow and Civic Empire Week 1931. And in that little thing there, it says 
uh, let Glasgow flourish. Now, in real life, these are <laughs> brilliantly coloured enamels. I'll show you one. <laughs> but this has long, long gone, lost its enamel. Not to worry. Now, look, look, look. Actually, got some seals. Um, where are we going here? We got um, eighteen. Where have we got? Fourteen. Eighteen. Fourteen. Eighteen. Sixteen. No, that's sixteen. Eighteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Sixteen. Eighteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Something or other. And this. Oh, I think this is Riga Cross Keys. But. No, I've not seen anything like that before. It, it's just... It's just not playing ball at all, is it? Look. Can't see anything. But it was on the line of uh, flax seals. <laughs> Obviously flax seal. Uh, let's call it Baltic State. That could be a cross shield with pellets. Uh, Weird and wonderful thing. <laughs> Mystery item. And then just ordinary ones there. Let's get the picture for the thing. And this, <laughs> I always call these skeleton tokens. <laughs> Looks like a skull. But it is in fact a crown, that. That part there. And there's a cross on that top. Like a little rosette of cross on, on the top of the crown. It's a royal crown. And it's a token, trading token. And it's a big token. It's a lot bigger than normal. As you can see with the seals. Okay, coins. <laughs> Modern pennies, 20p. And a couple of, let's see. You know those, those two coins? And I said they're, they're old, but I, I don't know what. Right, this. This is a half penny, and I reckon this is about 1740-ish, that ilk. Although it could... Is, is that George III? That could be George III's head there with his nose. Very hard to tell. In which case, it'd be 75, 1775. Now, the other one... Have you ever had a coin that's really black and grotty, but you pick it up and you go, that's smooth, is that? Because these, these things, copper, ah, it's like sandpaper, it's gritty. But that other coin I picked up, it was nice and smooth and shiny. And I put a bit of Brillo on and I thought, hello, I've got a silver coin. But I persevered for about half an hour, and finally... I turn this up and that is not silver is it <laughs> it's definitely not copper it's definitely not brass it's been made into a love token look at one time see it's bent on each side into a, that up that side down the other uh, it's beautiful, it's smooth. Smooth, 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 and it feels good, you know? And you're rubbing gold, and you know you've got gold. Well, quite frankly, I don't know how it's done it, but I think I've picked up a piece of gold. Oh, I can see a face on there. Can you see that face? And looks like a headdress on the other side. That's very reminiscent of a Roman head, is that? How on earth can that be? Could be an illusion, but I'm sure there's a head on there. But nothing on the other. It's just one very smooth. Look at it, it's gorgeous. That is a piece of gold.
Yes, indeed, sure of it. So, anybody know anything about these? Please let me know. I've never come across anything like this before. Oh, that's gorgeous. It's smooth as a baby's bottom. Not that I know what a baby's bottom smooth is like. <laughs> that's the saying. Beautiful. Could well have found myself a gold coin. Weird. <laughs> and a crown token, trading token, and five seals. And the Glasgow, what with Scotland having the referendum, that's very apt, isn't it? <laughs> For Glasgow. Okay, I'm rambling on. It's out there, look, I went looking for it. I love these roundups because you find stuff when you're out in the field, but when you get back and you start cleaning it up, woof, you're off again finding stuff. That is a weird and wonderful thing. It feels good, you know? <laughs> uh, my precious. <laughs> Uh, watch too much of the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I ramble on. Anyway, glad you could join me today. Uh, that brings the total at West House now to 453 seals there. Good one. Good one, good one. Till I see you later. You take care. <laughs> Go out and get yourself a bit of gold. Nice one. <laughs>